Hey everyone, my name is Sam, and welcome to Portal 2. We're finally doing it. It's been quite a while since we finished Portal 1, but we're finally back for the sequel. My hand is out of frame there. It doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so we played Portal 1 a while back, and we're finally back for the sequel, which is leagues above Portal 1. So... If you've watched my Portal 1 playthrough, you enjoyed it, you're gonna enjoy this because it's quintessentially... It's quintessentially ten times as good, basically. And on top of the single-player campaign, there is a co-op campaign that I will most likely be playing with uh, some of my friends at some point. And Portal 2 actually introduced the mind-blowing... Uh, thing of being able to make your own test chambers so that is definitely something that we'll be doing at some point but for now we're going to delve into the single player campaign and carry on more or less where we left off if you didn't watch the end of my portal one playthrough it ended with the main character chell being dragged back into aperture after defeating glados and portal 2 kicks off Short of where we left off, um, but yeah, let's do it. And also, I bought, um, I bought Portal 1 and 2 on PC, uh, to play it for YouTube, but I, I have played Portal 2 before. Um, Portal 1 was my first experience, sort of, playing through it. Portal 2 I've played through before multiple times, but, uh, yeah, it's friggin' awesome. So, uh, yeah. Let's get into it. I'm excited. It's been, uh, a little while since I played Portal 2, and like I said, it's a lot better. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 15 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. Right. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Ah! <laughs> you will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Yeah. <laughs> this completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. Yes, I feel exercise. On the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This right. is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. Some good art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. Oh, if you suspect yes. staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. <laughs> now, please return to your bed. What do I have to? So, obviously, we're here. Still an aperture after being dragged back in. It said we've been in suspension for 50 days. So, so far, 50 days have passed since the events of Portal 1. Some nice wallpaper with a guy. This is most likely just a light and definitely not the outside. And we got this rail here. Um, things obviously look a lot better graphically than they did in Portal 1. Um... I'd love to see a HD remaster of Portal 1 and 2. That'd be brilliant. Anyway, we're going to sleep. Good morning. You have been in suspension for... Hello? Anyone in there? Hold on a minute. I just realized... Oh, no. No, not loading last save. Uh, video... Uh, advanced video? Where's subtitles? Um, audio. Uh, closed captioning. Uh, subtitles only. Brilliant. Hello? Are you gonna open the door? Chapter 1. The Courtesy Call. Are you gonna open this door? Oh, hello. Good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? Are, are you... Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please prepare okay. for emergency evacuation. What's stay happening? Calm, stay, stay calm. Prepare. 
now. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right. Don't move. I'm gonna get us out of here. Right oh. You might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. Okay. So that's Wheatley. Oh God. Okay, we're moving. You all right down there? Can you hear me? Yep. Hello. All good. Hello. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. Brilliant. Don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although, if you, do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do okay. you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just yes. tell me. Just say yes. Yes. Speak. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say told apple. me to speak. Apple. Uh, say apple. Okay, you oh, know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. I'm okay, I'm gonna hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. That doesn't sound good. Oh, we're moving. Okay, oh I wasn't gonna mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. Oh god. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? Yep. Yeah. All good. The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Right. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. Yep, holding on. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? Uh, space. yeah, yeah, enough space, uh, you're good. Just, just gotta get through here. Ooh. Right, I just gotta concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's gonna Ooh. be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, so now I hit that Ooh. one. I hit that one. Some more test subjects. They're all in these boxes, thousands of them. Okay, listen, we should get our story straight, alright? If anyone asks, and no one's gonna ask, don't worry. If anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. All right? Not dead. Okay. Yep, alive. Okay. Almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. Oh, brilliant. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. The get portal ready? gun. All right. Yep. Ready to dock. Oh. Good news. That is not a docking station. <laughs> so there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Timber! Almost there. Once more. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Incoming! Oh, nice. That's broken. Well, there goes our nice room. There be honest, ah. you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But um, at least you're a good jumper. So you got that little jumping on your side. Um, just do your best and I'll meet you up ahead. Right, oh, Wheatley. Okay. Well. All right. Off you go. See you later, Wheatley. This does not look like just stable glass. March on through that hole. Oh! Hello. And again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three... Two, one. So, those of you with a observational mind will realize this is exactly where we started off Portal 1. Literally, this is the same room. We've gone full circle. Um, this is the same room. Uh, there was a, there was like a sleep pod here before, but it's not here anymore. Toilet's here. Radio's still here. GLaDOS isn't talking to us anymore, obviously, it's just a general announcer. But yeah, this is the exact same place, so it's, it's kind of- Oh, and there's Chell. 
looks a lot better in this than she does in Portal 1, a lot less, uh, PlayStation 1. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's hilarious that we spent the whole of Portal 1 trying to escape, and then we kind of did escape, and then we got dragged back into Aperture, and now we're pretty much exactly where we were. So, it's gone full circle. Uh, I almost said chapter then. Uh, chamber 0 of 19. We're literally in the exact same spot. Although, as you can see, it's a little worse for wear. Now, I don't think it's... it's I don't think it's actually ever been revealed how long exactly Chell spent in suspension. So he woke up the first time, and it was 50 days. Woke up the second time, everything was fucked. So, I don't... It's never actually stated how long she spent in suspension. Some people have said, like, it's a couple of years. Some people have said it's, like, a thousand years, ten thousand years, a hundred thousand years. No one... There's, I don't think anyone really knows how long she spent, but... As you can see, it's a... It must be a fucking long time. A couple of years, at least. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science. Even in a dire emergency. If oh, the and button based testing caused this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. Cuban button based testing causing an apocalypse, that'll be the day. Yeah, see? Exact same test as last time. Although the facility's not doing so well. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through. Say, I uh, let's try and... See if we can cheese this. Oh, I didn't think so. There's probably a way to do it, but I'm not going to spend hours trying to figure it out. The good old Emancipation Grill. The elevators have gotten more sleek in the thousand years that we've been asleep. And also, remember what Wheatley said? He said the reserve power had ran out, so the whole of Aperture sort of stopped waking up the test subjects. Um, so, to... If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. I'm sorry? Okay, we're not going to talk about that. Yep. Uh, Wheatley said the reserve power would run out. So what, uh, what actually happened in between Portal 1 and 2 is our good friend Ratman. You remember Ratman? The, the creepy guy who's like scrubbing on the walls and everything. He actually... Um, after Chell got dragged back inside, he realized that the power would run out. So he hooked up Chell's uh, stasis pod to the reserve power so she wouldn't die. All the rest of the test subjects, like, we're talking thousands of human test subjects, are dead. Because the power ran out, so the relaxation center stopped waking them up. And um, without waking them up, obviously they, you know, they just eventually all died. Um, so... Yeah, we're kind of like the only human left. Well, apart from Ratman. I think Ratman is still kicking about. Right. Test chamber one. Ah. Remember this one. So. Let's get that. That cube. Open up all there. Have this. And then button and slap it right here excuse me and then a portal right here <laughs> excuse me good and there we go because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing your test environment is unsupervised before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing Please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. Oh, okay. You got a pen and paper somewhere? Sure we could find some. I mean, this, like, the offices in this place are gonna be, like, 
new merch. Yeah, look, even the logo's, like, dirty and everything. Everything's really gone to shit. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to, or is incapable of listening to us. King Leopard Turret. Animal King Takeover. Dear God. Well, I hope the Earth isn't governed by a giant leopard print turret. Ooh. Now this, you remember, is where the portal gun was. But it's not there now, which is a problem. It's trying to- you remember this is the test where it rotated around and shot portals. Um... Yeah, that ain't that ain't here hey, now. You made it. Hey, Wheatley. There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. There, there isn't. I can't see it though. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go and have a quick look? Um. What if I feel like something terrible right, is about to happen? Have a look about. Okay. No, not here. Hello. Can you see the portal gun? Nope. Probably. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna work on the assumption that you're still alive. Yep. And I'm just gonna wait for you up ahead. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. Alright? Brilliant. Go team! See you in an hour, hopefully. If you're not dead. No, we're not dead. Luckily, we're still wearing uh, long fall boots. Uh, they're still attached, thank God. Ah. Even now, that man's still giving us a helping hand. There it is. The single portal device. <sighs> that man's been busy. Ooh, it's a bit damaged. Bingo. Now, there's only one portal. This is the single portal device, so it only shoots the blue one. But first, let's, let's take a look about. So, this is actually kind of telling the story of, well, Portal 1, basically. Um, so, back, uh, back in the heyday of Abture, lots of people. And this is GLaDOS. You'll remember GLaDOS, the nasty AI woman. Um, they built her, and then everything sort of went to shit when GLaDOS gassed everyone with neurotoxin. And this is Ratman, he managed to escape with his good old companion cube. And then, there's us. Chell went under... Did you hear that? I hear something. I'm gonna up the audio a bit so you guys could. That was weird. It sounds like a radio, or maybe it is Ratman. Maybe, maybe it's about some Ratman. Ratman, it's me, Chell. So yeah, and this is obviously the events of Portal One. That's us. We went to confront Glados. Tried to offer us cake. Well, she she fooled us by trying to offer us cake. We refused. And we killed her. And there's Ratman watching from a distance. And then, uh, those are all of the cores that were on her. We burnt all of them and we killed Glados. And then there's Chell. Now, um, Wheatley, the Oh, I'm stuck. Uh, Wheatley is actually a core, just like all of the little cores that were on GLaDOS. Uh, I'm not gonna say what type of core he is, because all of the other cores had a... They had a reason for being, like, GLaDOS had an anger core, a cake mix core, a curiosity core, and a morality core. I'm not gonna say what core Wheatley is, because that's kind of a spoiler. But yeah, let's get out of here. Oh, didn't notice that. Oh, lots of eyes. 
Oh no, 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 no. Hold on a minute. That's, those aren't eyes. Those are the, uh, oh, I need to go round again. Those are the cycles of the moon. What are you figuring out that for, Ratman? Hmm. Right. Let's get out of here, go find Wheatley, and get out of here. So we're actually sort of in the offices now. Again, everything's abandoned. I very much like this, uh, this sort of style of aperture. All abandoned and overgrown and everything. Ah, here we are, back onto the Some testing track. testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots. To share. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. Okay. Well, we haven't encountered any military androids yet. No turrets. Not yet, anyway. Gulp. Can't... <laughs> I bet Chell must be uh, pretty pissed right now. She was like, I literally just did all of this. I'm having to do it again. Are you kidding me? This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. Aww. Oh no, don't like that. Ugh. Don't like that. Uh, but yeah, I said at the start of the Portal 1 playthrough that I knew a bunch of the tests. This is how, because obviously, I played through Portal 2 before Portal 1. Um, so that's how I know all of these tests. Ooh. Came before. Just like clockwork. What? Great, now I've got creepy ambience to deal with. Oh, and there's a camera there. Glad us isn't gonna get angry at us. Well, she can't really because we killed her. She's not here anymore. Great work. Oh, damn it. Any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. <laughs> Yep. Oh. They don't make glass like they used to. <laughs> so this wall used to be here. Or well, does open, but we're gonna look up here first because Easter eggs. Unreason. With cryptic uh, actions and a cat. Computers are off. Oh, this whole place is gone to shit. Remember your evacuation training. Well, I mean, everyone was already dead the last time that we were here, so... There's not really anyone else left to find. If the Enrichment Center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Oh, apparently in the thousand years or so since Chell was in status, they've implemented meteors as part of testing. Amazing. That's a nice detail. We can't actually get in here, so, uh, do this. Were right. I don't remember this being. Um, I don't recall this being a portal one test. 
Um, they were a lot simpler back in Portal 1. The tests in this are much more complex than they were in Portal 1. Lots of new testing elements. Uh, right. So, we're trying to get to there. Let's see what we can do. Let's get, get that cube, first of all. Okay. And we need another cube. I've still got it. And there we go. Ooh. Upstairs. There well we go. Done. The enrichment center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All aperture science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic low power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. Why Wheatley's still around? But he's really all we've got at the minute, and he's sort of MIA at the minute. This next test applies call. the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. Thanks for the tip. All right, let's. Okay. Oh, this is it's an easy the old uh, the old fling. Yeetus Magetus. Yeah. But we gotta go back and take that cube with us now. Whoa. Anything else? No uh, sneaky hidden bits. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, that's where we came from. Pfft. I'm a fucking idiot. Right. Come here, cube. Wait. We. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. Nice. Uh, where's the port? Aha. More momentum testing. Love a good bit of momentum testing. Yeah. Alright, uh, we're trying to get up there, get over there. Yahoo! Right. Go. And then once more, I think we need to do that one. Whoa! Jesus! That was a bit, uh... Even that, that was a bit too too much momentum. Ah, there. Good work getting this far, future starter. What? That said, if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. Right. Let's carry on. So I think we're sort of moving between testing tracks now because uh, obviously those ones were not part of the original testing track that we did in Portal to 1. To sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Oh great, thanks. Hey. Oh. Hi, hi. I'm up here. Hey Wheatley. Oh brilliant, you did find a portal gun. Oh, the... Do you know what? It just goes to show, people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Pop a portal on that wall behind me there, and I'll meet you on the other side of the room. Right, so. Now, uh, you guys are actually recognize this. Pop a portal right behind me there, and come on through to the other side. I'm talking to the viewers about nostalgia. This is the, uh, the ball launcher. Uh, this launched the, uh, the pellets in Portal 1. These aren't in Portal 2. Um, these aren't a testing element anymore. I don't know why they got rid of them, but I guess they just right, thought maybe... Pop a portal behind me, alright? 
Then come on through. Uh, these these aren't in Portal 2. Um, they've been replaced by a bunch of bunch of new awesome testing mechanics, like lasers. I want to see how angry he gets. Just pop a portal right behind me there and come on through to the other side. I think he's just cycling through the uh, the comments. Right, let's go. Come on through. Hello. Okay, listen. Let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail, or I would die. But we're out of options here, so get ready to catch me. All right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. Right, so ready to on catch. Three. Ready? One. Two. Three. That's high. It's it's too high, isn't it, really, that? All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. All right. Okay, ready? One. Catch me, catch me, catch oh. me, catch me. I can't have caught you. Ow. I am not dead. I'm not dead. <laughs> I can't move then. That's the problem then. Ah. Are, you still, are you still there? Could you pick me up? I'm literally right in front of you. You are there? Oh, brilliant. Thank you. Great. <laughs> Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. Ooh, nice. Yeet. Um, yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Seriously, okay. I'm, not, I'm not joking. Could you just turn around for a second? Sure. You're not going to leave me, are you? Wheatley. Ah, oh, fine. I can't do it if you're watching. All right, you can turn around now. Okay. Bam. Okay. Oh. Pick me up. Let's get out of here. And off we go. Nice. Okay. Well, that's where we're going to leave this first episode of Portal 2. Back in Aperture. Things are a lot worse than when we left. Although, on the plus side, um, at least we don't have GLaDOS uh, being sarcastic and nasty to us, as we did in the last game. Uh, so, yeah, next episode, me and Wheatley are going to try and get out of here. So, uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching. And I will see you on another episode very, very soon. Goodbye, everyone.